BC, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the channel. It's a Saturday morning here, Saturday the 15th of July. Um, is this camera even on? Let me check. The camera is working. I uh, sometimes have this feeling that it's not actually recording and this fear that I'm going to be talking for 25 minutes and uh, it's not going to be captured since it's happened a few times before. Anyway, hope everybody's doing really well. Um, Yep, Saturday morning here. Hopefully I'll upload this today so it's up on the day that I'm recording it. Um, bit of a weird video, a mishmash of a few things. Um, I'm gonna, gonna, I went to the library last weekend. Um, I knew they had a record collection you could take out, so I got some really cool stuff that I've got to return soon, but I uh, shot some footage. Uh, I'll show you what I picked up to give it a listen and my thoughts what I've got, um, I want to talk about an app that I'm really enjoying at the moment called Symbol. This is not like some sort of paid ad or anything, it's just something interesting. And a bit of a rant slash thoughts at the end, and they're all sort of tied together, sort of. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, first up, here's my trip to the library. Let's do it. So I'm in the library, and I now have records. So you can actually uh, rent out records, which is kind of cool, very interesting. Could be worth looking into if you want to hear some stuff before you buy, although I suppose you could listen online. Um, yeah, really cool idea, it's very interesting. I'm not sure how it will work out in terms of, you know, people looking after them. So this is, this is a record that I could quite easily rent out and give it a listen, because I'd like to get into the mix. Considering it's a library, this is a pretty decent selection. Goat, BC favourite. Got a world section. Hip hop. Wow, I'm impressed. Ah, uh, there you go, it just came in too. It's in the library. Huh. Do you know what? Some of this stuff is better than some record stores. I wonder if there's a, uh, a New Zealand section. New Zealand. Oh, and even a Wellington section. Ah, that's cool. Mm, actually, I'm very tempted to get a couple out. This is a great record. What else have we got in here? I don't know, maybe this is not just a... Uh, maybe every library these days has this sort of thing, but I think it's really interesting. There you go. Managed to uh, pick up a couple of stuff to give it a listen, which is really exciting. I'll show you guys what I got shortly. Ta -da! There we go, that was the library. Yeah, that was really, really cool. That was really fun and unexpected. Uh, and it's kind of a really nice novel idea. They give you these, um, I suppose, cardboard sleeves to take your records home in, and you have to return them in these just to protect them so no one damages them. Um, as you can see, they had a great collection. Um, and this initiative has been going on for, I think, over a year now. And uh, they keep bringing in new releases and stuff like that, which is awesome. Like, it's up, completely up to date, new things, new cool things, so well curated. Um, I, was, I was very happy with what they had. And there was a few things in here that I sort of thought about buying, but I didn't pull the trigger on a couple, so it was really cool to get a couple of things that I could check out first or, you know, sort of try before I buy, I guess, so to speak. Um, this being uh, one of them here. This is uh, the Nex uh, Unfold. Came out, I think it was earlier this year, yeah, 2017. Um, experimental Jazz, it's a 2LP thing. Um, I almost bought it online a couple of times. Um, I just didn't get around to it. So it was cool to give it the proper... I mean, I listened to it online and I found it quite dense quite hard to get into and I thought if I get a, a 2LP, I uh, spend some time with this in the evenings, it might grow me and I might pick it up, you know, for myself. It didn't grow in me, <laughs> I don't know, I, I just, it's called Unfold but the tracks don't really go anywhere. Um, and I feel like all the secrets of these songs are revealed pretty early on. For me this didn't do that much for me. I, I don't know, I just, I don't get into the next at all anyway, I can't, they're a band that I probably should like and you know, they're in my wheelhouse of music that I like but 
it doesn't connect. Um, but you know, I've given this a good go, I've listened to it on vinyl, sat down with it. Um, I get it. I, I get what they're doing. I get this. This is almost like a, a drone jazz record. It's kind. It's kind of interesting in, in that. But I feel like it doesn't. Ke the songs don't keep my attention, and they're not different enough um, to be worth it. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not getting something with it. But you know, I mean, I'm glad I didn't buy it on vinyl straight away. I didn't spend the money when I can rent it out for free and uh, and listen to it. So that that was cool. Um, and another one, basically this, the same boat. I mean, when this got announced, I was really happy uh, that, you know, I was excited I was going to pre-order it, but I didn't. Um, they released a couple of the singles online, I listened to them and I really liked them. Um, and the album came out, I listened to it online a few times, and um, it didn't grab me as much. I found it a bit uh, formulaic, like every song has, you know, synthesizer, organ, vocals uh, and a couple of strings and some chanting and repeat you know 10 times in a different formula that, that, I don't know it just doesn't connect with me it, it sounds great it's an awesome recording um, the idea is cool the synthesizers and stuff I didn't expect but I'm not going to be picking this up there you go um, a couple of New Zealand bands here um, these two are from the same artist, Orchestra of Spheres. Uh, I picked up their third album, um, which is really cool. I really enjoy that record. This this basically sounds like the, that record, but not as good. Like these, these are the previous two records by them. They've got three in total. Um, and these are enjoyable, but they're not as, you know, the third one, which is in here somewhere, that I'm not gonna pull out, is a refined version of these two records. So I probably won't get these either. Um, because I don't really need them, but they're still decent. And um, yeah, la lastly, uh, Birchwood Cat Motel, uh, local Wellington artist, uh, noisy rock drone. Quite enjoyed this. If I saw it cheap, I'll maybe pick it up. But again, yeah, really cool idea to be able to pick these up and listen to them, and then return them to the library, and you know, probably get more out. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's something about you know. When you get a, a record, a physical record, you pay it more attention or you give it more love because it's there and you spend the time with it rather than digitally. Um, you know, which is so nice to have that down down the road, you know, and, and it's all good stuff. You saw in the video, there's some really interesting stuff. Some audiophile pressings I'd like to listen to. So yeah, that's, that's kind of like a, a whole new record store almost. <laughs> anyway, so that was that. Um, which kind of brings me on to my next point, uh, the Symbol app. Following on from that point, um, I feel sometimes in the VC that what you listen to or what you enjoy is measured by what you have on vinyl almost. Um, you know, it's almost like, I mean, what, what you guys see, I show my records, but I listen to a whole lot more than what I buy on vinyl and I don't buy everything on vinyl that I like. Um, I spend a lot of time on Spotify listening to uh, new music as well. I don't always tend to buy it because I don't feel it's maybe personally strong enough to buy on vinyl, but that doesn't necessarily mean I don't enjoy it or I don't like it. I can like something as much as something I do buy on vinyl, but it doesn't mean I have to buy it on vinyl to enjoy it or appreciate it. Um, I just feel like some new releases or new stuff that I don't buy, I don't get to talk about because I'm not buying it, but I don't want to spend the money on it. Um, but in saying that, I found this really cool app that's called Symbol. I'll put the logo up here. And it's basically like a social media, it's like Instagram for music. Um, so you can post tracks and songs that you're listening to at any time um, to get, you know, to share what you're listening to basically. Um, and it's tied into Spotify, so you've just got to save, you know, you just you just save what you, you can just basically post. I'll try and show you, but I'm not even sure if the camera is going to focus here. But yeah, the app's called Symbol. This could be a disaster if the camera doesn't work. Um, we'll see what happens. But yeah, basically, there's my. I've got a wall here, and you just post tracks of what you've been listening to. So this is the stuff I've been playing uh, online or recently. And you know, there's like, you know, you can click on the track here and play it. But it's probably not going to play now.
yeah. So if you start following people that you have, you know, stuff that taste that you really like, um, you can start to learn a lot about new music and new releases and um, yeah, there's a whole bunch. If you, you can check out mine, it's just my name, uh, which is also my channel name, um, on Symbol. I don't really know, it doesn't have hashtags, so I don't really know how you get followers and stuff like that, but I find it's kind of a cool way. If you discover a new song that you're listening to, you listen to a podcast or something, or you can quickly search for it and save it and it's there to listen to and you can revisit um, and maybe check out the album and stuff like that. I just I just think it's a really great way of... Because for me, a lot of what I buy on vinyl is a way of capturing and knowing what I've bought. But a lot of, a lot of um, stuff I listen to online, and I don't want to spend the money on the records, I can sort of capture that in my own list, what I've been listening to. And I, and I try to put up at least a track a day or you know a song that captures a, a, if I'm in a mood or a feeling. or It's quite a nice way of getting that, um, I guess, instantly written down or saved or put out. So... I've discovered quite a few bits of new music through that, which is kind of nice. Um, yeah, so anyway, that sort of brings me on to my last point, which is a bit of a rant, complaining, talking part. Um, well, I'll show some, I'll talk about some music that I really like, but I'm not going to buy them on vinyl, and why I'm not going to buy them on vinyl. So if you want to see physical things, you can leave now, but otherwise, I may overlay some magical graphics around here. Cool. Yeah, so um, I mentioned that I do listen to a lot of music through streaming services, mainly because it, I'm at work all day and I have the, I can put that on in the background while I work. So uh, I do discover a lot of new music, but I don't necessarily share it with you guys because I don't feel... So you know, you know like, I sometimes feel like to buy a record, you, you're, you know, you feel like the music almost has to be good enough to justify to buy it on record. Like that's the ultimate format, you know, if the album is amazing, you'll buy the record. Or for me, if, if I want to spend the money, it has to be awesome. I have to be blown away by it. Um, and I tend to forget about digital stuff that, you know, I'll listen to for a week or two on Spotify. And, you know, I like it, you know, and then I'll just forget it. It'll leave my Spotify list and it'll be gone forever, you know, which is kind of a shame. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm, I'm training this wrong, but I, I feel like if I... If I love it, I'll buy the record and it's permanent in the collection and everything else just floats by and you forget about it. Like, all this new music is just sort of... It's coming and leaving. And I guess, yeah, all this music is floating buyers and with with the records, you're sort of pulling out the ones that you really enjoy and letting everything else float by and a lot of stuff I forget about, you know, weeks later, you know, the stuff that I just don't... I don't feel like I need to buy it, so it goes by. But the stuff that I really enjoy... I just know I won't listen to it very often, which is, you know, it, it doesn't mean to say there's not, you know, it's not a worthy record. Some of this stuff is awesome, but I won't listen to it that much. Um, stuff like, something I'm going to recommend, uh, which came out earlier this year by an artist called Loyal Kana. Kana. I'll put it here. Um, and the album's called Yesterday is Gone. It came out in 2017. Um, it's a, a hip hop, a UK hip hop record. Um, which is something that I, I will, I'm not really into, and I know I won't listen to it very often, but as, as a piece of art and music, I think it's a really cool, interesting thing. Um, it's, it's, yeah, British hip hop, it has this really atmospheric, uh, I guess almost like nostalgic, but that's wrong, um, just ama beautiful samples, really floaty. And everything sounds like a memory. I don't know how to describe it. Um, just soft and beautiful. And um, it's so weird talking to the camera with nothing to show. <laughs> like, it's like I'm just becoming a music reviewer or something. Um, yeah, it, it's a really interesting record. But I know if I spent, you know, $40 to get it here, I'll listen to it a couple of times and that'll be it. I don't know. I just have, it's, it's something that I think is definitely worth checking out, but something that I can't justify buying on vinyl. Um, that, it's really great. Um, the, ne the next one I really am enjoying, but I won't listen to it that much on, on vinyl, is the new Laurel Halo record um, called Dust, which is really... I've sort of been a fan of Laurel Halo on and off for a couple of years, but I don't pick up her stuff on vinyl. Um, she's an electronic musician from uh, the US. Or is she Canadian? I think she's from the US. Uh, just wacky, strange electronic music. Um, this one's no different. It's just 
uh, she just twists things inside and out. And uh, it's, it's not far out in terms of experimental or avant-garde, but it's just just the amount of textures she packs in there and stuff. And yeah, this, this is re really good. It's just something you don't listen to every day. Um, it doesn't appeal to me to buy it on vinyl. I don't know. I, I think it's definitely worth a listen. Please check it out. Laurel Halo Dust. There you go. Um, and then thirdly, uh, the last one I want to recommend came out a couple months ago by an artist called Jeffrey Cantu Ledesma and the album's called On the Echoing Green. Um, I think he's a, in a, a US uh, musician. Um, I guess this album is basically a really interesting shoegaze record. Uh, the opening track is magnificent. It just it sits right in that zone of your slow dive, my bloody Valentine. Blah 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 blah. Um, it's done really well. I think it's an EP, so it's probably short. It's quite it's quite short in in length, which again sort of you know I don't want to buy the record because it's you know twenty minutes long, plus shipping and all that business. It doesn't cost me a lot to get it here. Um, yeah, it, it's really cool though. Really shimmering and gorgeous and. Uh, it starts off with this big uh, gesture, and then everything's uh, the second part of it is a bit more experimental in terms of textures, you know, shoegazy textures and stuff. But yeah, it's 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 beautiful artwork, and uh, it it's definitely you know worth checking out. So yeah, new music. I do listen to it. I just don't always buy it on vinyl. Yeah, so that's that. So that's uh, three new releases that I really like. Um, I'm not going to pick them up on vinyl, but that doesn't mean I don't love them. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'd love to know what other people feel about this sort of thing. Um, because, yeah, in the vinyl community, I feel like there's a tendency to show what you love and enjoy by buying it on vinyl, which I don't necessarily think that's the be-all or end-all, you know, musically. I, I I love stuff. And this symbol app is a really cool way for me to share and, and record what I love that I'm not going to pick up on vinyl. Um, give it a bit of love, I suppose. Because um, some of the stuff is worthy. But, you know, money, money restrictions, there's stuff, there's other stuff that I'd like to get more on vinyl and um, to have in the long term, basically. I don't know. That's my thoughts. I mean, like, if I bought every new release on vinyl that I was moderately interested in, I'd be broke, you know. Um, you just got to have a filter sometimes. I just, you know, I mean, there's stuff that's, that you listen to that's good, but you've got to be able to sit back and go, I don't need this record on vinyl. I don't need this. Thing. I can still listen to it online and appreciate it and enjoy it as much, you know, it's always going to be there to stream. You know, I'll, the, the, the thing is, I'll probably go, I'll spend money on something like this, which I just got, which is a, a, a really rare New Zealand jazz record. Um, I suppose it's one, of the, it's one of those things where it doesn't exist online. Um, you can't find it, you can't hear it online. Um, it's very hard to get now. I, I assume it'll be, it'll go up in value in the future. Um, it's something I'm interested in learning about is that scene and those musicians. You know, I can get that or I can get two new releases that I can stream and listen to uh, on iTunes or Spotify, um, you know, forever. You know, as long as, as long as I want to, I have that there. You know, so I guess that's probably where I'm coming from in terms of, you know, things that are, you know, if it's amazing, I'll buy it. I can still appreciate those in my own way. It just means I'm not showing them on the channel, basically. Do you need to buy every new release? Uh, by an artist that's decent on vinyl, probably not. I mean, stuff like the new Slow Dive record, it's good, it's enjoyable. I don't need to get it on vinyl, I can listen to it online. I don't know. The new Ride record, that's kind of below average for me. I'm not going to talk about that one. Um, I don't know. I don't really know where I was going with this. Just, I don't know. I want to know what you guys think um, in terms of buying new music. Uh, where do you, where do you sit on that sort of thing versus streaming? Um, do you feel like you have to own a record to give it justice? Um, yeah, I don't know. Please let me know. Thanks for watching, everybody. That's the end. Um, I'll talk to you all soon. Cheers. Bye.